In this video, we are going to discuss about the VTP configuration and how and why this topology we have selected and the characteristics of the VTP configuration we will be looking into it practically in the packet tracer. We wanted to create trunks between switches because the VTP information passed through the trunk links on management VLAN or VLAN 1 so that to do this you have to go into the multi-layer switch and you can see clearly here we have the interfaces interface 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we have it till 24 fast ethernet interfaces and gigabit ethernet 1 and gigabit ethernet 2 here. So when you click on the CLI option here you can see here clearly about the after the switch rebooted you can see all the basic booting setup has been configured on the switch because it's a multi-layer switch and in the same way you can see about the CPU MIC register test begin and end and also status has passed here and also you can see the information about the interfaces which are up and running so this is switch A and when you type enable here to configure the VTP so again enter configure terminal it entered into the configuration mode now you have to choose interface fast ethernet 0 slash 24 okay now you can see the configuration terminal now entered into the interface mode terminal now we have to enter the switch port trunk encapsulation which is switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1 q so after entering it again you have to enter the switch port mode as trunk and now you can see that the up and down status of the interface now you have to conclude as end here so configured for console by console so you can see it has configured now console by console now the trunk is activated so for switch port mode trunk command it is not necessary to use the same command at the other side of the link without this job it is automatically activated so after that if we configure switch A as a VTP server and the switch B as a VTP client the default switch VTP mode is VTP server so we did not want to change anything on switch A but in switch B we will change the VTP mode then in both the switches we will configure VTP domain VTP password and VTP version and VTP pruning the related configurations of both switches will be clearly done here you can see now this is for switch A so we have to exit this one and we have to enter switch B you can see all the states are up and down clearly mentioned so we are into switch B and we have to type enable okay and configure terminal so we enter into the configure terminal so we give VTP mode as client so device mode already is in VTP client mode and now enter VTP domain name as Cisco so domain name already set to Cisco and you can see clearly that the VTP password also should be enabled VTP password should be given as ABC123 
password already set to ABC 1 2 and 3 now we give VTP version as number 2 cannot modify version in VTP client mode so this is in VTP client mode so we cannot modify it so now we go with the VTP pruning as enabled So after typing in, we have to type it as end. So we have came back to the console mode. To verify the VTP configuration, use the show VTP status here. So we have to use the show VTP status. So show VTP status. So this is the VTP status, you can see VTP version is 2 as we have provided, configuration revision is 10, maximum VLAN supported locally is 1005 and number of existing VLANs can are B8. So here VTP operating mode is client as we have can see the mode is client so that's the reason we are not able to uh, modify the version in VTP client mode and also you can see the VTP domain name as Cisco and pruning mode is disabled because we when we try to enable it is uh, popping up some error so that we cannot enable it right now because it is in a client mode here so VTP v2 mode is enabled and VTP traps generation is disabled so MD5 DIS number also is clearly given and this is about the VTP status of and configuration and switch B here so in the same way when you go into switch A here so here when you type show VTP status here it is uh, the version is 2 clearly given and also the pruning mode is disabled here as well as it is in the client mode and you can see here the difference from there and here the VTP operating mode is server as we discussed the switch A as a VTP server and switch B as a VTP client so that we configure the switch A and switch B as a server and client the default switch VTP mode is a VTP server mode so this is about the VTP configuration on switch 1 and switch 2